Hi, this is Mark Laughlin with the Ambidextral Gunfighter. Uh, today I'm going to do a little something, I guess we might call it Ambidextral Hunter today. And uh, I'm working with a Marlin Guide Gun 4570. She's empty. And I have a, a GI sling on her, which I have set up for doing a hasty sling. Like hasty, hasty sling like that. Or it could come around and do a hasty sling or I can detach and use a loop sling on it. But what I really want to cover today is how to use this sling for carrying the firearm. And I'm going to go over two ways of carrying. The first will be uh, South African carry, which is with the muzzle down. Setting on sling on your shoulder, muzzle down. Now to deploy the weapon from this position, is you grab, this is for using right-handed, right-handed so I'm going to use my support hand to reach up and grab where I want it on the foregrip lift a little bit now the sling comes loose comes down rotate the rifle around and bring it up and I'm ready to shoot and I can also quickly get a use of the sling from that as well and if I'm doing it left-handed this side again support hand comes up lift Sling comes off, rotate around, rifle into position. Now, what you want to start with is figure out where you actually, when you are shooting offhand, where is your hand positioned on the foregrip? Are you reaching? Do you support it way out here? Or back, or like I do, back here? Because that's where you want to grab when you go to deploy, so it's ready to go. So you notice in my case, since I like to hold further further back, I'm reaching up pretty high. Lift, rotate. Same thing for right-handed. Coming up high. Lift, rotate. Now the other uh, carry method is American I guess you call it American GI with the muzzle up. Now the way you deploy your firearm from this position is your support hand reaches underneath and grabs that same position on the forestock and then brings the rifle out of your sling into a shooting position. And you, again, you can quickly get the sling for additional support. So again, showing this left-handed So we are left-handed, we're all set up. Support hand reaches under. Like that. Reach under, grab at your where the, the support hand is going to be. Arm just kind of lets it come straight out of the sling into shooting position. So, anyway, that's just a couple of carry methods. And I'm gonna be doing some more stuff a little bit later using the 4570. I gotta get her sighted in. I just mounted the, uh, re repurposed this optic to put it on the 4570. So I'll be sighting that in. I'll be doing a video on that. I'll be doing some videos on using the uh, shooter sling with the 4570. And we'll probably do some more other stuff on the 4570 as well. It's a really fun firearm. And I like it because it's very ambidextrous. It's very, all the controls, except for the safety, works properly left and right. And for 4570, you got a cross bolt safety. And uh, uh, I don't like those because uh, putting it on safe on for left-handed is different than putting it on safe for right-handed, as in, a different position and it's just uh, uh, I get to where I don't really I don't think about that I'm shooting right-handed or left-handed and so uh, it's easy to get you know in the zone and not know where the safe is so on this rifle I usually run it safety off and uh, I'll use the safety just enough to get it round chambered and then I can lower the hammer hammer and then take the safety off I leave the safety off hammer down and just be extra careful not to drop the rifle on her on her muzzle to cause that firing pin to move forward and, and detonate it. So 
anyway, that's how I do it. And then you, when you're ready to deploy, you can reach up and just cock her. Ready to rock and roll. It's Mark Laughlin with the ambidextro gunfighter hunter. More forthcoming stuff on the Marlin 4570 guide.